gonna make some actually I don't know what I'm gonna make but um, I'm thinking steamed buns with pork and chai and glass noodle this is what I'm boiling right now in the shop these are the glass noodle I'm gonna boil down the salt and I'm gonna chop them up and mix them into my stuffing. Um, I'm mixing the dough. So this is the water mixed with yeast. I'm just gonna pour them in little by little. Uh, if I pour too much, <coughs> I don't know if it's gonna be too thick or to <coughs> lose so you just have to add the water little by little and uh, I just soak some Chinese wood air in the water it might be part of the filling I don't know I just have to go um, and see now I'm gonna get the chai okay All right. so we bought this uh, a few days ago on it we should probably eat this because they don't taste uh, as good if they stay in the fridge for too long. So this will be part of the stuffing. Also, pork. Some grounded pork. It says premium selection. It's supposed to be very like top quality pork. So I don't think I'm going to use all of it. Yeah, Berkshire ground pork. Okay. Um, so, Chinese chives, ground pork, uh, uh, glass noodle. Okay. We need chopsticks. Chopsticks. So, I put some seasoning in here, not just water. I throw in a bunch of chili peppers, uh, cumin seed, and I just dump in some random sauce I can find in the cabinet. So I got some um, oyster sauce. Uh, I even put in some of the uh, seasoned soy sauce for seafood. And some dark soy sauce, some salt, and I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and some oyster sauce. So yeah, a whole bunch of seasoning wherever I can find. Yeah, I smell something. <laughs> Put the lid on. I'm gonna work on my dough and I will chop up these chives later. And I think I need some eggs to just kind of combine the stuffing so it's not too loose. Um, I'm thinking either turn them into a steamed pork bun or a pancake because sometimes I can't I have a hard time controlling uh, the time to steam sometimes it's just it won't rise and sometimes it's too much and it kind of just shrank and died uh, but pan fry that's another way to do it. I'm gonna make them into like a little hot pocket basically I'm gonna make them into a bun and smash them then pan fry them with oil and I even bought some Crisco <gasps> Crisco Crisco Woo -hoo -hoo! Uh, the other day so that's gonna make the crust very crispy so that's a secret I learned yeah so let's work on my let's finish mixing my dough and I will show it to you once they turn into a dough baby the glass noodle is boiling. Meanwhile, I'm gonna add in the Chinese wood air. See, it uh, expands twice in size. It used to be very tiny, like little bitty one. But when you put them in the water, it will expand. It look like air. Ear, ear. Okay, I'm gonna put them all in here so it will get some flavor. Put the lid on. Okay, then my dough. Okay, this is what it looks like now. 
it's not too dry nor it's not too uh, loose I guess okay now I think I'm gonna need my hand I'm going in I'm going to tell you what happened to my hand eventually. It's kind of a very sad and painful story. bit stuck on my hand and the bowl this is actually a big pot <laughs> uh, we don't have a mixing bowl so I'm just using this pot as, as I, my mixing bowl um, so the bowl is supposed to be pretty clean too as you can see it's not too bad uh, let's check on my noodle mm, it smells yummy pretty good the noodle it has expanded in size as well and these noodles are like very very hard it seems like spaghetti before you boil them and wood air they got even bigger it's, it's very crunchy do you like my apron i'm wearing a hoodie today because it's kind of cold and i heard it's gonna rain for two days straight um, during the weekend Ugh, I need, I need, I need to dig out my, uh, my heavy clothes. They're all in the box. Now let's chop some chunks, and I gotta cover my dough so they don't dry. My dough, baby. <laughs> I just put a lid on, and it doesn't fit. And I'm gonna put it in the oven. <laughs> so it's hot. Oh. oh no, the oven is too small for the pot. It won't fit. I guess I'll just leave it on the counter. The sun. The sun. It's warm. Rise, baby, rise. Okay, let's check on these. Okay, I think they're good. I'm going to turn off the heat so they don't overcook and become too mushy. Okay, I just washed the chives. They're not too bad and they're still very green. Now I'm going to chop them into smaller pieces. I'm talking very quietly because my mom is still asleep, so I don't want to wake her. Let's do some chopping. Oh! Very finely chopped. Ah, Jesus! These are the fine pieces. Not too, not too small, but not too big. Watch your fingers. I really need to find a holder for my phone. This is where you are. Look at just kind of leaning against this knife holder. Look how green they are. That's what I found. Da, da, da. I'm going to use this one to mix all my stuffing. So that's the chive, the pork, and my noodle right there. 